Nazo kusadagishi Ni nazo kusadagishi Nazo kusadagishi Ya almasihu nazo kusadagishi Nazo kusadagishi Nazo kusadagishi Nazo kusadagishi Authority in heaven and on earth. Father, we thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you have been doing. Thank you for what you will continue to do. Thank you for choosing me to bring forth your word tonight in a time like this. My Lord and my God, I ask tonight, put your words in my mouth as you have been putting your words in the mouth of your son, Pastor Adebwe. Anoint my tongues like that of the angels. Breathe on me as your word is coming forth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, I ask for one thing tonight. Let everyone under the sound of my voice be tremendously blessed. For in Jesus' most precious name, I have prayed. Brethren, join me as I celebrate Jesus in the life of our Father in the Lord, the General of Asia of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, and our mother in Israel, Pastor Mrs. Fulu Adeboe, for this platform given unto us. Daddy and mommy, we pray that the Lord Almighty God will continue to lift you up like unicorn. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus' most precious name we are prayed. Tonight I'm asked to speak on a theme, the rod of fire. The rod of fire. What is a rod? Rod is a natural symbol of authority or a tool used by a shepherd to guide and correct his flocks. Why fire is the divine presence of God. But before we proceed, I want us to look at the equation of the rod of fire. Equation number one. Rod is equals to authority, which is equals to power. Act of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8. Act of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And you shall be witness unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, in Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth. Equation number two. Fire is equal to God. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. The Bible says, for our God is a consuming fire. Equation number three, the word day means definite. That is, we are referring to a specific rod. Because we have so many rods. But tonight, we are referring to a specific rod. Putting this equation together, that is, the rod of fire is the authority and the power of God. The Bible makes us to understand from our Bible text. Moses took his wife and sons and the rod with him. Meaning, he took the power and the authority of God with him 
to Egypt. That is why the Bible says God make him a God before Pharaoh. In the name that is above every other name, Jesus, I decree to somebody under the sound of my voice, tonight the Lord will make you a God before your enemies. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. The Bible says, I have come to bring fire on the earth, and how I wish it were already candle. This is the word of Jesus. So, one of the major assignments of Jesus when he came here on earth was to ignite the fire upon his children and make them the rod of fire. That is why the Bible says in Psalm 82 verse 6, Psalm 82 verse 6, I said you are gods and you are all sons of the Most High. Sir, ma, the moment you become born again, the DNA of Jesus begins to run in your blood and that makes you a rod of fire. Remind you, a child of an elephant must not remain small because he will eventually grow big like the father. A son of a giant is a giant. If your father is a giant, you are a son of a giant. If Jesus Christ of Nazareth is a rod and a fire, then you are a rod of fire. Wherever you are under the sound of my voice, can you place your right hand on your chest and prophesy to yourself? Said, I am a rod of fire. I am a rod of fire. What fire does in the life of a man? What fire does in the life of a man? Fire sustains the soul when trials and tests come your way. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 13. The Bible makes us to understand that those who are running, let them keep running. And those who are willing to stand, let them stand. But a day will come that all men will be tested by fire. So as a child of God, whether you like it or not, you must be tested. It is the fire of God that is in you that will sustain you. The Bible told us about the three Hebrew men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were thrown into the funnel of fire, but the fire could not burn them because they were carrying fire. Number two, fire enables a believer to live a holy life. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. The Bible says, without holiness, we cannot see God. Number three, the fire judges between the right and the wrong. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 14. It is the fire that is in you that ignites your conscience. Number four, the fire purifies that which is not worthy and destroys imperfection. Zechariah chapter 13, verse 9. Zechariah chapter 13, verse 9. Rakato Zeleke Brakata. I decree in the name that is above every other name, Jesus. Tonight you will become a rod of fire. In the name of Jesus. Tonight you will become a rod of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. What must I do to become the rod of fire? What must I do to become the rod of fire? All you need is to be a son of Abraham or oh, a daughter of Zion. You cannot become a rod of fire when you are wallowing in sin. When sin is your nature, when you have not received salvation, wherever you are under the sound of my voice, 
I urge you as our father in the law we comes up. Don't hesitate. Run and surrender your life to Jesus. And he will make you a rod of fire tonight. Tonight is your night. Tonight must not pass you by. In the name of Jesus. The rest of us can we be on our feet. As we transform into the rod of fire. Adonai. We worship you. Son of God. You are so good. Almighty God. Hallowed be your name. Your dominion is forevermore. Adonai, we worship you. Son of God, you are so good. Pray and say, Father, by your spirit, make me a rod of fire tonight. In the name of Jesus, Father, by your spirit, make me a rod of fire tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, by your spirit, make me a rod of fire tonight. Make me a rod of fire tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says it is not by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit of the living God. Father, by your Spirit, make me a rod of fire tonight. Make me a rod of fire tonight. In the name of Jesus, make me a rod of fire tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Parakato zekete barakatola, japa kapa la kapa la kapa la kata, zakata kata 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 karakata la katosa, rata tapa lekete rakata. Father, by your spirit, makes me a rod of fire tonight. Makes me a rod of fire tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, by your power, makes me a rod of fire tonight. Make me a rod of fire tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lika pai rakato zalikata. Ma kwa pa la ka pai rakata. Jekete kete 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 lakata. Who is he that said and it come to pass? When the Lord has not commanded it. Tonight I come by the rod of fire. Jekete ka pai lakata ira. Zapa ka pai lakato lakata. Je la rikato zelikete rakapa la kapura zekete kete la kataila rapakato zalikara le kaya pashikete la Father makes me a rod of fire tonight by your spirit by your spirit makes me a rod of fire make me a rod of fire tonight in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Le Pasira Katoza, thank you, Father, because it is done. Glory be to your name in the highest. For in Jesus' most precious name, we are praying. So shall it be in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. God bless you.